Hi friends, so uh, hi, hello to all the guys and the girls and the gays and all the technical people around there. So today I'm going to talk about uh, spring bean life cycle and spring bean how it works and how it is in a simple way because if you read a book you will have to read a long essay of three to four hundred words. So first of all, uh, what is spring? Spring is, uh, this is a spring but we are not going to talk about this, we are going to talk about spring in Java. So we will leave it. Okay, so uh, the spring in Java when we know that what happens is it get loaded from some bean factory or application context blah blah stuff. So today I am going to tell you a story of when a baby is born in India, what happens after that. So that we will relate to the spring life cycle as it is. So first of all, when the baby is born and you know how the baby is born, that it requires a lot of, uh, that is out of the context of this video. So first of all, when the baby is born, it's, it's, it's like a baby is born. Similarly, a bean is instantiated from spring container. So now the baby is born. So then we, we then when it is born and during that process and after just it is born, it's something uh, he get ears, nose, eyes, all those traits. So basically we are instantiating a bean and then doing a dependency injection because all its dependencies are getting injected. So that's first step is spring bean instantiates, baby is born. And the second one is that dependency injection, his eyes, nose, ears. So now the baby is born, we know the two steps. The third step will be, is like, Oh, Sharma ji ke ghar mein chirak paida hua hai, oh baby. That means, fam we give him a family name. And then after that, sometime, uske baad baby ka naam karan hoga. So after that, sometimes we give name to a baby. So similarly in spring, third step is, that with the help of being factory aware interface, the bean factory name is uh, given and the bean name is given. So now we are getting to four steps. Now there are four steps. So we have discussed these four steps that is bean is initialized, dependencies are injected, the factory name and the bean name. The so four steps. Now the fifth step is our uh, relative who is always interfering in the matters of a baby. It's like the bua and I will name that bua as a bean post processor. Bua is always in intruding something, you do this, you do that, you do aise karo, aise karo. That is bean post processor. Now that Bua will come into picture, she will say bean post processor before initialization. That runs as a fifth step, the Bua. The sixth step is actually initializing things. Actually, you know, uh, baby ka bed ye, uska ghar ye, uska room ye, uska food ye. So that is our initialization process. And that initialization, pro is initialization process happens in spring in three ways. So that is maybe by after property set, where you actually can uh, implement something, implement a class to initializing bean and override this after property set. So the after property set, you can actually initialize things, some of the things. Then a second way of doing that is init method. You write init method ABC and you define ABC method in our class. That will become an initializing method. Or the third step is at the rate post construct annotation that you can use. If I, I am running a J unit, I generally use the post construct so that all my bean definitions are wired, dependencies are wired, everything is fine. So I'll just check it with a post construct. If it is fine, then it is fine. If it's still something fails, I know this is failing after it. If in the post, if it's failing before that, I'll get to my post construct that it is failing. You can use that in J units, very fine. So that sixth step is complete, the initializing part. Now once the initializing is done, again Bua will come. Ye bed SQ lagaya, ab SQ lagaya, ab SQ kiya, SQ kiya. That is mean the bean post processor has come again in the seventh step. So that is bean post processor after initialization. We can use it for some logging or some uh, other stuff like that. Seven steps. The eighth step is bean is actually in action and actually is working. And the ninth step is, is destroy destroy method that completes our life cycle. So basically there are nine steps and destroy also comes with some pre-destroy or something and some initialization, just the way we did initialization thing in something we can do in destroy as well. So there is pre-destroy and destroy something like that. So there are nine steps in whole. 
baby is born spring cut initialized dependency injection factory name sharma ji ka beta name so now i will just recap all the things we discussed the spring is instantiated baby is born and second is dependency injection third is the factory name sharma ji ka beta and the fourth is the it being name bitu sharma and then it is the bua that always interferes being post processor after initial uh, before initialization then the initialization by after property set init method or post construct and then the again bua being post processor after initialization and then the uh, step is being is an action and the destroy destroy has some pre destroy occur so that uh, defines all the life cycle so with this simple story you can uh, just memorize this and uh, with the baby how the baby is born and all those things done so that spin life cycle you can actually explain it to yourself but i am no more baby i will have wine okay bye bye oh jao yaar session khatam ho gaya